Hello everyone. Thank you for coming back to Mary's Little House for Take 10 with Jim number 82. Today our Holy Father Benedict XVI just concluded a two-year cycle of, 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 of catechesis of teaching on the lives of the saints for his Wednesday afternoon audiences at St. Peter's. Uh, the people we either out in the square outside when the weather was good or in Paul the Sixth Hall when it wasn't. Many times Cindy and I and other members of the ministry listen to him, listen to John Paul too. We haven't, we haven't got to visit, be there when our Holy present reigning Holy Father was there, but we were outside listening to the audience at, 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 on, Wednesday, on Wednesdays and and are in Paul the Sixth Hall when it was bad weather. But anyway, these audiences he devoted two years and he's just concluded today on the lives of the saints. And then he reminds us that the saints are beacons of holiness. That's why the church holds them up. And throughout the year we celebrate the feasts of the saints to, 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 to give us a, a example. They're beacons for many generations and for us also. He also reminds us that uh, saintliness is not making a lot of miracles. Yes, saints did do miracles and, and had a lot of uh, great experiences, mystical experiences, but that's not the essence of saintliness. Saintliness is, 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 um, is, is uniting ourselves with Jesus, Jesus Christ. That's what the essence of saintliness is, our union with Jesus Christ. Uh, like St. Paul says, we no longer live, uh, I do not, uh, no, 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 not no longer live myself, but Jesus Christ lives in me. Being uh, one with Jesus and, and acting in our uniqueness, we all are unique, we all show Jesus different ways, and being like Jesus, uh, uh, that's our saintliness, union with Christ. The other thing is, uh, he reminded us that Vatican II called all of us to be saints, the universal call to holiness, the universal call to saintliness. And, and Benedict XVI today said in his audience, there's no one excluded. That's what, that means all of us are called to be saints. All of us are called to be saints by, by, by Christ, by the church. He also says a holy, a holy life it, 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 a saintly life to be saints, uh, holiness, saintliness, is primarily the work of God, not on ourselves. I love that one because, oh, it's God's work. Uh, yes, we have to make the effort and make the decisions to, to, to follow uh, God's will by the help of the Holy Spirit that we, we receive in baptism. But it's principally a work of God. And that's really important. Sometimes we get important sometimes we get discouraged and we we want to just sort of uh not try anymore but it's god's work and it's, and it's, he works through his holy spirit that we receive beginning at baptism um, um also christian holiness is is the um, measure of, of christian life or to be a saint to be holy is is what we are called to be as Christians. It's the measure. It's the standard. It's the the aim to uh, to be a saint. To be a full Christian, we must be saints. We must be holy. Uh, it also it, uh, 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 saintliness can be boiled down to one virtue: the virtue of charity, the fullness of charity, the perfection of charity. Charity for love for our neighbor and love for God that we really love. Uh, heroically our neighbor we really care more about our neighbor than we care about ourselves we die to ourselves we uh, for the love and we sacrifice ourselves as Jesus did to lay down our very lives to uh, to follow him so he reminds us that that being a saint is being uh, uh, is living out the, the virtue of charity of love completely loving God with all our heart with all our strength with all our um, a uh, 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 mind with all our a whole being with uh, uh, everything we have because God deserves all our love not just a part of it uh, but total love gift of ourselves to him and loving our neighbor as ourselves 
and loving as Jesus loves, that, and, and Jesus died for us on the cross, uh, and, and, and what calls us to do the same, to lay down our lives. No greater love than this than one lay down his life for his brother or sister. And, and, he's, and then the Holy Father reminds us of the means of, 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 of growing as a saint. Uh, and and that, is, that is prayer. That is listening to the Word of God, the Scriptures, uh, uh, and, and listening to it Mass when the Scriptures are proclaimed. So prayer, 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 the, hearing the Word of God, and the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, uh, that which brings us right in union with Jesus, body and blood, soul and divinity, our person with his person, our bodies with his body, our soul with his soul, uh, 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 our humanity with his divinity, our whole being with him in, in, in communion and in oneness with his sacrifice on the cross. So the Eucharist is, is, is really a saint maker uh, besides the hearing the word of God and, and, and living a life of prayer and deep recollection. Also self-abnegation. We can't be a saint and just feed be a lover of pleasure, of, of ease and softness. No, we have to deny our very selves, Jesus says, to take up our cross and follow him. Uh, so, so we are uh, mortified uh, our, our senses and everything but that's a freedom people uh, because if we're just bogged down with just pleasure it's boring and it just slows us down we want to run and and, 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 and and be ready to be free to to, to follow God <laughs> the will of the Father by the help of the Holy Spirit not be bogged down by worrying about uh, uh, ourselves uh, and and also active uh, love for our neighbor all the saints love the poor I mean you look at all of them they love the poor even the ones in the in the monasteries the contemplatives the the the, uh, the, the cloistered they love the poor they love us poor sinners they're praying for our salvation but they also that you so much is happening when those monasteries many people don't realize how they serve the poor when they come for help and, and for food or for I was waiting Cindy and I for at an Augustinian uh, monastery a cloistered place oh my goodness uh, waiting outside the door and we weren't the only ones waiting there were people that needed need in, in Rome needed food and the sisters would feed them uh, from their own table so uh, so uh, and and what my point is today is not only that our Holy Father concluded the, the lives of the saints, this two-year cycle, this catechesis, this teaching of the saints, but he calls, I want you to know that all I, we do on Mary's um, uh, ministry channel on YouTube is that you may become saints. Uh, and, and, this, and this only affirms what Benedict the Sixteenth is telling us, that we're all called to be saints, no one excluded, that we're called to live a life of, of love, love, love of God and love of neighbor with all, heroically, and, and that we're called uh, to let the Holy Spirit make us saints. Our God is a principal maker of saints, and we just say yes to God, what he is doing in our lives. And, and, and using the means of grace, prayer, hearing the word of God, uh, uh, and and uh, the uh, the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, and and, and charity for for others, especially the poor, poorest. So let us continue our our journey together, all of us, uh, to help one another to become saints, uh, and so we can do the greatest good for our families, the greatest good for the church, the greatest good for the world by becoming saints. God bless you now.